when you tried it? Just, just tell me, yes or no. Would you eat it again? Yes, I would. Here's the he thing. He says he would too. I've had other people say that it's just. Would uh, I pay three dollars more than a regular burger for it on a regular basis? No, but I would say while their beef product, their beef product is uh, good. You know, you put mustard and ketchup on anything, but their pork, which they have in Canada more, their pork uh, breakfast patty. Yeah, that's good. Is that. off the charts. You would think. You would think you less would eat. calories and cholesterol are the same. Uh, I'm, if well, I'm no do cholesterol. It, no cholesterol. But your sodium and your calories are higher. But no cholesterol, Sorry. and you think, okay, so some pig didn't and die. And you realize this. that you could do. You know, you're an expert on bacon, so you yes. can merge your two. Well, I'm waiting for the beyond. You know, there's nothing, nothing like bacon. Yet. Nothing. Can't do it. And bacon. why? <laughs> Jane, the premise of this whole sector is the concept that somehow meat long term is unhealthy for you and this is a way to enjoy the taste of that old unhealthy is that really the premise? No, or is it I, no I think it's more sustainability, sustainability. you know, less not, yeah. cow farts and less and land, less water. Change. And and if you want, I don't think they're promoting it as a healthy alternative. But the because animal cruelty is not. part of it. I think right yeah. now, yeah. if you look at all the products with the amount of sodium and the calories, yeah. if you're counting calories, yeah, this is not a great solution. No, you're better no. off with a piece of chicken. Well, but yeah, a chicken had to die for that. And so I think that's the... Pr you know what I found interesting? Are we just going to blow off what I was actually going to say about earnings and we could just talk about no, it? No, let's go there. Because in the long run, it's sustainable. Do that, and then we'll come back to this conversation. Okay, because I, I have we'll, have... we'll go back to that in just a second. That, that animals are a poorer processor of plant materials into protein, he says right now, Ethan Brown of Bling on Meat, than his process. In other words, give him the same amount of plant material, he can develop more protein... Than an actual cow or pig, that the pigs and cows haven't evolved as well as man made processing technology. That's efficient. That's it. But is it beyond hype? <laughs> are these fake profits? Well, there are no profits. We finally get an idea today. Wall Street expects the company to report a loss for the first quarter and the current quarter and for this year and next year, though it anticipates sales growing substantially and those losses shrinking. But with shares up over 300% since the IPO and an estimated 30% of those available to trade in a short position, expect volatility, especially if shares pop after earnings come out. Maybe shorts have to cover their position. Okay. Things to watch for. New partners. Everyone's waiting on, Am on Amazon. On McDonald's. They already got Amazon. And what current partnerships are doing to same-store sales growth at places like Carl's Jr. or Del Taco. Uh, repeat purchase patterns. Are people just trying it once? Because it does cost more. Capacity to meet demand. CEO Ethan Brand told me they're stocking up twice as much product as they expect to sell this summer. Uh, and when might they be profitable? The company has a market cap of $6 billion. By the way, that's 15 times larger than Del Taco and 29 times this year's revenues. Barron says the company needs to grow like Google did for a decade after going public to justify the valuation. Okay, where were we? Uh, back to this question of what the, what the market is. Because I was saying, look, I... I'm fine with a veggie burger with uh, like Morningstar grillers. Yeah, I'm good. You're that. not the one there. Yeah. They, yeah, they want the Big Mac guy. Uh, well, they're not going to get at McDonald's. They want somebody to say, go into Carl's Jr. and say, you know, I know it's three dollars more. I'll try. That's pretty good. But do you think it's, it's an I'll back. try, and then I'll, yes. and then it's so. But this is the issue: is it so good? Is the is the margin of goodness so much higher? that the next time you go by, back, you try. Or you bring your friend who doesn't want to eat red meat and said, man, I had this but burger. It, you don't eat red meat because you're concerned about the slaughtering of the animals? Yes. Okay, now this may sound a little far out, but you think plants don't have feelings? How do you know? <laughs> when Kevin. You, come on. I mean, All right, so what are you going to eat, Kevin? Well, I, well you'll eat everything. Point. Right. For, since they the do. ages of the caveman, we have had okay. a balanced diet. But you're reducing the plants you're hurting. Somebody you're has slaughtering to die, fewer, Jane, You're for slaughtering me fewer plants, they say, because they say they use less land, less King? water. Did you see that song, The Circle of Life and all yeah. that? I mean, yeah. you know that, that that's been Look, going I on I have for... no problem eating. Right, um, I, I know, but there are times I feel bad. I, you know, there I, is free, there are free, free range, there's free range lettuce that's pulled gently uh, instead what do you of this. Gonna there are people who just eat some fish, off trees. No, I know. I suppose. You know, I love people who are pescatarians, who are like, I won't eat cows or pigs, but I'll kill a fish. Oh, that's corn in my that's my point. Everybody dies eventually. That's it. But that's why I'm not I don't know if it's a health thing. I don't know. Can they ever make these things healthier? Uh, well, that I don't know. They constantly work on the technology. They're really working on the taste. And they're really working on developing a supply chain so that uh, they don't have to charge $3 more. They need to get more farmers to provide them with the materials. Well, right. What would you guess? Is this a fad or something that really takes off? Oh, I don't. 
I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't either. That's not good for profits long term. That's well, because there are none, right? So we got to wait five years. Yeah, but you know, I, I, here's the thing: are people who are their target audience? I really are. What's the repeat buying pattern? Right. You know, in the short term, you're going to see same store sales growth at these restaurants grow right. because these co burgers cost more. So you buy one. Right. Oh, look, sales grow. Right. Do you go back and buy it once every five times? Does that become your your or staple part of or, or part of your rotation? Right. I don't know. Jane, so. it is wonderful to see you here in studio. That was fun. It was fun. Nice Come to see Come back. You. We miss you. <laughs> he doesn't. He's not buying any of it. No, I'm just. I'm at Four the end plans. of the day. Where's the profit where's and the, the beef? Where's the beef? <laughs> yeah, that's it.